Hello and welcome to this week's YouTube vlog from Barton Allburner Services. Hope we're all okay this week. Thanks for everyone that subscribed this week. I think it's the most subscribers we've gained in a week, so we're well pleased. And some of the comments, they, they mean lots to us. They've been so positive. So yeah, thank you everyone. Keep them coming. Um, people have been asking questions as well. Really nice. We're always happy to help people where we can. So yeah, great. Thank you very much. So feel free to carry on commenting. Feel free to subscribe. Um, doesn't cost you anything. Absolutely. Thank you very much. So on to this week. I'm off to a breakdown. Um, it's a Wallstar boiler, a Wallstar combi, and it's, well, it's just not working. It just now and again um, decides to lock out for no reason. He's having to press it four to five times a day, which obviously isn't ideal being a combi boiler. No heating, no hot water. So I'm off to investigate that. Going to go down the same road as what I explained on my last vlog. Um, you go there, is it in lockout, which we know it is, then press the reset, and we go through a cycle. Is the fan going? Um, does it pre-purge properly? Does it then fire by the coil lifting? And then after 10 to 15 seconds, does a spark stop and um, the photocell's taken over and away it goes. So that's what we're gonna look at and uh, go from there. This one's gonna be slightly different, going from memory. I've been here before. I'm pretty sure it's a later wall star, so it's a digital control box. So that obviously just tells us a little bit more. So we'll have green flashing lights, orange flashing lights, red lights, so it's brilliant. So I'll be able to give you a bit more of an insight to what's going on. So yeah, I'm just gonna drive there now. It's about 15, 20 minutes away. And uh, yeah, I will be back. So I've turned up, as you know, it's a wall star, because I said it was a minute ago. Uh, I've got my ladder out. I've got the front off the boiler. Um, this is actually a combi wall star. The reason you know it's a combi is if you look under here, you've got an additional like green switch there. So you just know it's a combi boiler as well as it tells you anyway, but that's how we uh, differentiate it. So if we look here, you can see there's a nice red light on, which means the boiler's in lockout. When you get that, it means it's had a burner failure or lacking fuel. It's the only two things it can be really. So on this electronic box, what we expect is to push the button and then it will flash. And then it will, as soon as it fires, you should get a solid green light. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens on this one. So you've got the orange, it's just flashing, which is like its pre-purge stage. And we wait. It's about 15 seconds. And as you can see, it's still flashing orange, so it's not detecting a light. There you go, it's now detecting the light. Okay, so it's a green. See, it's starting to flash now. It should be a solid green light, but it's not. So that's saying it's not detecting the light properly. Okay, so that's telling me it's a bad flame, or the photocell's dirty, or it's not reading the light properly. So if I leave this long enough in the next half hour or so, or even five minutes or two hours or two days, it will lock out. So unfortunately, this is definitely not a happy boiler. So I'll have a little bit of investigation and uh, I'll let you know in a minute. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the tank. Oil off. The reason being is we don't want it running back. So on the old wall stars, I had a non-return valve here, but on this one, they're on the pump. So if I disconnect the oil line here, zzz, Back to the tank so we've now avoided that so i'm going to undo that i'm going to undo that and key there i'm going to slide the burner back and we're going to have a look i'm guessing it's going to be pretty choked up that's what i'm guessing burner removed so just to explain this is the burning time burner that hrm put on the boilers not a bad burner we get a few of them that clag up to be honest with you the trouble is things are low knocks these days on the more modern boilers and we get more trouble that the tolerances are so much tighter on them so they have to be set up a lot more precise so just a basic overview of the burner like all other burners you've got your pump there and your solenoid coil that's where your fan is inside here okay behind you is your photocell which detects the light obviously you have a control box here but this is a digital control box followed by the ebi transformer and there you go there you've got the motor so you've now got the overview of the burner clearly obviously that's a plug where you plug it in all right and there's the oil line they're clear on these they're clear on the wall stars great idea because if it's pulling air when it's running because it's up in the air you can see it's pulling air so it's really good for diagnosis purposes so as you know this was flashing green and wasn't a solid green light looking at that 
it looks like it's sooted up inside the combustion chamber, but it hasn't. But if we turn it over, you will see it's dirty. Okay, I'll try and zoom in on that. Whoop. There you go, all right? So just here, it's all dirty there, look. Okay, that basically means that it's not an effective flame. Okay, or something's restricting the flame or something like that. Okay, it means that then the photocell will not read the light correctly and that's why it locked out. And as you can see, that's not the best condition nozzle in the world, but also you can't see it because of the angle. I actually think that nozzle's not quite set in the right position. So that's why I think it's done it. So I'm just gonna whip the blast tube off and I'm gonna have a look underneath. On this model, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. You have two grub screws. One is here. Just undo it a few turns, and then we have one the other side. Sorry about the uh, videoing, because I'm doing it one-handed, as I just said. Okay, take that off. And then this should just pull off. Now, as you can see, it's very dirty. Now, normally I would say restriction inside, i.e. slightly blocking up or something like that, but, and we do get this sometimes, and it shouldn't happen, but it does. On a wall style, which I'll show you in a minute, the flue and the position it is here, whenever I come to this house, it's really windy. And it seems to me that it blows down that flue all the time. And I think when the boiler shuts down, sometimes you get a tiny bit of nozzle dribble or whatever you get um, when it's shutting down, which shouldn't happen, but can happen. I think it blows back. And I think that's what essentially does this. God, it's sort of happened before. So I'm gonna give this lot a really good clean up. I'm going to change the nozzle. I'm then clearly going to clean that. I don't know if we can see down there, but you have the photo cell just there. Look how dirty it is. Because that's dirty, that's what's saying, help me, I can't see a light shutting it down. And it's a safety feature, which is a great feature. So I'm going to give it all the good cleanup, and then I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, I've cleaned the head up, and that's the best I can get them. I've been spending 15 minutes of them. I can't get them any cleaner. They're very stained, so they're getting a little bit tired. Okay, but I've done that as well. You can see that's fine. Actually, in thinking about it, I just need to take a little bit more out of here, here and here. Scrape a bit more, but that will be done shortly. Okay, I'm going to put it all back together, and then I'll move on to the photo cell. I'm just going to bring your attention to the blast tube. When you put a blast tube on, it's got a hole. The hole goes at the bottom, faces downwards on the burner. If you get nozzle dribble, it comes out the hole. If you have it that way around, no hole, what happens is it can just build up at the bottom sometimes, which isn't ideal. So it's better to drip out, and that's why they do it. So look, hole at the bottom, it goes on, doink, that way around. Simple. I'm now gonna take the back cover off, just here. Again, one-handed, so just bear with me. It takes three times longer. There we go. That there is the adjustment for the nozzle the distance that the nozzle is to the front of the blast tube. That's only to be done by absolute trained professionals that set them up and you've got to go to your manufacturer and spec to find out where it goes. Okay, I'm gonna give it some more adjustment, but I'm not gonna show you how or where I'm gonna put it because it's not what this video is about. This is a breakdown. So here's the photo cell that I was speaking about. I'm just gonna pull it out, oh, quite tough. You can see already it's dirty, spin it around. It's disgusting, okay? I'm just gonna clean that now. So I'm gonna get my cloth. I know you can't see this. And I'll give it a what? You can see this is really stained. Even when I turn it around, it's really stained, that glass. It's actually discolored. Okay, so I'm gonna clean it a bit better if I can. I haven't got one of these on my van. These are not a common one to have. I've never had to change one actually, so that's why I haven't got one. But I will order one and come back and change that. So I'm hoping for today it is gonna to read the light, but I will have a bit more of a go at it now. It's a bit better, but not ideal. Remember, you're not only cleaning that bit, you're cleaning the bit on the end as well. Okay, you can see it's proper stained, so I will need to deal with that. And it has to go back in the right place as well. You see a little cutout at the bottom. If you spin this around, you will see just there, there's a little bit in the rubber as well. So we're just gonna push that in the right way around. So it faces down, spin it, push in, done. So I'm gonna bolt it back together and there's, uh, well, hope I fixed it. Burner's back in, all lines on nice and tight, oil turned back on again. So 
it wasn't locked out as you know when i disconnected it it was just flashing a green light so the idea is we're going to squeeze this connector here we're going to power it up it's going to have an orange flashing light it's then going to fire we should get a solid green light that means that the cell has detected the light and it's going to purr along so here we go together little delay that has a little flash just need to stand down a bit otherwise i'm going to get it in the face there we go about 10 to 15 seconds again it's called pre purge this it's circulated the air through the boiler and boom immediately a solid green light so that is telling me that is perfect that photo cell is reading the light perfect however i am still going to come back and change that photo cell because it's stained and it's just going to go wrong again eventually okay so this is going to be a happy customer they've not only now got good hot water again because it's gone with boiler but they'll be nice and toasty again so uh yeah on to the next one that is it another happy customer that was very straightforward that it was just a case of like i've explained before you just be methodical in what you do just go through a step at a time and you come across the fault very easy and that was pretty straightforward and yes i'll be the first to admit the digital the digital a uh, digital control box really does help okay on a wall star that box particular um, makes life a lot easier if you obviously know what you're looking for but i've just told you all so after my last clip i um did do the pump pressure and i did set the boiler up um to 12 percent co2 but i've shown you that on so many videos or vlogs before that i wasn't going to bother to show you that again all right so yeah so there we go so really really straightforward it wasn't reading the light properly the green um led on the control box was just flashing that was saying help me i'm not reading the correct light and eventually that would have flashed to orange and eventually that would lock out so that is exactly what's going on with that so i will be popping back to that as i explained um to put a new photo cell on even though we've got the glass semi clean it's really stained and it won't read the light properly so potentially it might do it again in the future so yeah i do need to get that changed so thanks for watching everyone again like last week a bit of a shorter one it's just been such a busy week this week um and it's just hard you can't just stop and do a, a vlog or a video on something because the what comes first in our world is actually our customers we do have to make sure they're okay and we've done so many long late days this week that yeah it's just been a bit hard to record but there we go it's all done now take care everybody and we'll see you next week stay safe Thank you.